Hello YouTube, and welcome back to Let's Play Spyro the Dragon! And it's all come down to this. All of the gems we've collected, and all of the dragons we've rescued, it's all led us right here, to this moment, right now. The final battle between Spyro the Dragon and Nasty Nork. The epic conclusion to this game and to this LP. So here we go. Yeah, it's actually not that dramatic. I just I just like making it seem entirely epic. But you'll notice that Nasty Nork is not really that hard of an enemy. In fact, he's a bit of a pansy. Because um, all he does the entire time is run away from you. Now, man, I can't believe it. This is actually the final boss battle. It's kind of hard to think about. But uh, this is it. This is the last battle we'll ever fight. Um, now if you'll notice, there's like a little keyhole on the ledge that Nasty York is standing on. Uh, we cannot reach him on that platform. We have to get up to him, and getting to Nasty Nork is harder than actually fighting Nasty Nork. Now you'll also be able to hear behind me, there's an egg thief. Now what we have to do is we have to get that thief, get the key from him, unlock another door, using his key to find another thief that has another key, and use his key to unlock the pedestal that Nasty Nork is standing on. So that's what we're gonna do. Also, these thieves are not like normal egg thieves. They are quite a bit faster. They run really, really fast. But that doesn't stop us from getting him. Okay, so now we have our first key. And so now we could go unlock uh, the second door. Now I'm just going to do some backtracking just to make sure I have all the gems. Because I really don't want to have to do any gem hunting and backtracking in this final level. So we're going to get the gems first. And then we'll get Nasty. Like I said, getting to Nasty is harder than actually fighting him. Also, he does have a scepter, and if you do get too close, he will try and shoot you with a scepter. So, just keep your distance for the time being. Okay, so now we can unlock this door. And what's behind it? Oh look, another thief! Yay! Now you notice I'm not chasing him, I'm gonna get all the gems first. That way I don't have to backtrack and get them later. And, uh... I know I say this all the time, but I just love the music right here. It's very fitting battle music, you know? But it still has that Spyro feel. Like, it's not dark and sinister battle music. It's a very uh, upbeat, colorful, Spyro-esque battle music. Alright, now let's get this guy. Really, the only way you can get these guys is if you cut corners. Oh wow, I completely overshot him, actually. Wow. That's embarrassing for him. I ran right past him. Alright, so now we have this key. Which means we can unlock Nasty's pedestal. Which is what we're gonna do. You can already hear him running away. But we're gonna catch up. Actually, no we're not. Um, just so I don't have to backtrack, I'm gonna pick up all these gems first. And then we'll chase him down and get him. Because basically, um... He keeps running laps around this entire area right here until you, uh, manage to catch up with him and torch him. Um... And this is what only stage one of the battle. Uh, there's two stages. The first stage is right here where he runs laps, and the second stage, uh, there's these... There's lava and platforms and all that stuff. I just don't want to come, have to come back here and pick up all these gems. Um, are there any back here? No. No gems up here. Okay, we're good. Moving onward to victory and glory. these. Okay. 
I think that's all the gems. Now all we have to do is, uh, chase him. Now don't try torching him, uh, until he gets back up to his pedestal. You won't be able to. He'll run away before you can actually torch him. Also, a little tip, if you need to turn corners really fast, um, push jump while charging, and it gives you that nice little skip right there, uh, like this. And uh, you can turn corners faster if you do that. All right, all right, all right. Yeah! Just 125 gem, that's it? Okay, now this next part, you have to be very speedy. Very, 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 very speedy. Um, all of these platforms are slowly sliding into the wall. And so the goal is to glide and jump all the way to the end before uh, there's nothing. F oh, no. Okay, we're going to do this again. We might not have time for the credits now uh, to fit in this video. Hey, we got him pretty fast. Uh, where's the other door? Here it is. Yeah, that's a good tip to try and follow, is don't fall in the lava. Generally, if you see lava, it's bad. It's the uh, classical video game cliche, is lava. Game producers just love that stuff. Alright. Okay. Again, don't torch him yet. Wait till he gets up to his platform. I'm just trying to cut corners as much as I possibly can right now. It's all about timing. This last boss battle, everything about it is about timing. Just gotta get it right. Alright, 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 alright. Okay, okay, here we go. Yeah! Yeah, that's right. Okay, now we gotta glide all the way to the end without... I repeat, without falling into the lava. But again, don't go too fast. Otherwise, uh, you'll do what I did. And you'll mess up. Okay. Ah! 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 Oh, whew. Yeah! Yeah! We beat him! We beat him! That's awesome. What now? Sorry I took so long. I kind of forgot about you. What about Ganasty Ganork? Nasty Nork? He's toast. So now there's order again in the Dragon Kingdom? Well, mostly. I've still got some treasure to pick up. What will you do next? I'd say the sky's the limit. And there we go! We beat the game! That is Spyro the Dragon for you, everybody. Um, actually, we haven't technically beat the game. There's still one more world in Nasty's world, the little bonus world, that I want to show you guys because it's kind of cool. But yeah! As for, you know, fighting enemies, that's it! That was Spyro the Dragon. We beat it! And it's been fun. Um, and very, um, educational for me, I guess. Um, this is my first completed Let's Play, so that's kind of cool, and it's uh, definitely taught me a lot about, you know, how I give my commentary in my Let's Play videos, and how I organize my Let's Play videos, how I upload them, and just all that stuff. So it's been very instructional for me uh, on how my Let's Play channel is going to operate and how it's going to work and all that stuff, um, but also just the game itself. Amazing game, you know? Uh, if you have not played Spyro the Dragon, I would highly recommend it. It's a fun game. I mean, it's an old game, but it's a really fun game. Um, and it's been a blast. I remember this place. Cliff Town, good memories. Way back, way back when. Music by Stuart Copeland. Um, he did all of the music for this game. Amazing music, in my opinion. And, um, yeah, it's kind of weird. You know, I've been playing this for a while, and you guys have been brought along on the journey, and it's kind of weird that it's over now, you know? Um, 
But you know what that means now. Now that I've defeated Nasty Nork and beat Spyro the Dragon, it's time for another game to be brought to the table. I am still going to be playing uh, Skyrim. I'm still doing my Skyrim Let's Play. But um, I want to have two games going on um, simultaneously. Like whenever I'm doing my Let's Play videos, I want to have two games going on at once. And now that Spyro's over, uh, it's time for you guys to vote for a new game. Um, now I already made the video uh, in which I asked you guys to vote for which game you want me to play. It's uh, I actually, I'm really proud of that video because it's my first time green screening and it turned out really good. But I'll have that uploaded here in a couple days. Um, that way, ha, <laughs> that's funny. No sheep were harmed in the making of this game. But some norks were. That's what it said up there. But yeah, um, I have two games picked out for the next game. They're both PS2 games, and they are both shooter games. Um, like action strategy shooting games. And uh, I'll have a video up probably on... Let's see, what day is today? Yeah, I'll probably have the video up on Friday. Um, asking you guys to vote for which game. So be looking for that. And then you guys get to choose which game I play next. Thank you for tagging along with this Let's Play of Spyro the Dragon. Uh, and we'll do one more video. And in that next video, we'll check out this little bonus world right over here. So thank you guys for watching. And I will hopefully see you guys in the next video if you guys choose to watch it. Toodaloo.